everyone, this is Diane. I am packing up a swap for... Oh, uh, I have the information here. Hold on just a moment. I thought I had it out, but I did not. Uh, this is for Brittany. She's BBZ. Um, I will link her down below. She's on Instagram. And this is through a Facebook swap that she has. And there were... There was quite a few requirements, but the, I only wrote down the ones that I did or the one that I chose to do. Um, I chose to do the memory decks card, the sequin mix, a set of four flowers and a set of four bows, and then the rest are extras. So I've got, I, I got a lot of these, well, didn't, not a lot, I got these three bags, and so I'm going to use them. I got these from um, Brittany Pocheck. I have these bags and these colored bags also I got from Brittany, and I'm using those. They were three different colors, so uh, I just put the green one in here because this has green. I put the purple one in here because this one had more purple. And they're all pretty much the same, and I am going to pack up. This particular one I am going to pack up for Brittany because this paper looks the odd man out, right? So the each each swap partner, it was make two and I made three, I made Brittany one. So each par swap partner will basically get the same. All the items are same, the same. Uh, there'll probably be, you know, some variations of, like I said, the color purple, green, and orange. Uh, everything else is the same, uh, except for these tags. These tags were actually gifted to me, um, from Brittany. <clears throat> so I'm going to use them because there was three of them. I'm going to use this one for Brittany because I wrote a note on it explaining what I'm doing. But, uh, so I don't know who made the tags. I don't know if Brittany made the tags or whether she received them. But there was three, so I'm using them. Anything that I had three of, I am using. So the bags and the tags are from Brittany Pocheck. And the rest is what I made. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is package up, because I do have the orange bag. I'm going to put Brittany's things in that, because this one goes with the orange. So that's kind of how I did the bag colors. So this is the little memory decks that I made. This is a Scrap Diva die, and this is a Scrap Diva's candy word that goes with the little tags. Um, I forget what they're called, ghost tags. And um, this is Panelisa's little skelly girl. And I took this out of a sequence. It's the little rest in peace. And I just uh, put a little dangle here just to give it some interest. So I did make all, I did make all of them one. So like I said, all of these I made all the same except for the bags are just different colors. So I'm going to stick this in the orange bag. Then the other thing I was going to stick in the bag are the little flowers. Uh, I don't know that I need to take them out of the bag. I was going to put something in the center, but I decided not to. I figured whoever received the flower would be able to uh, do something. If they want it gold or silver or whatever it is that they want to match with whatever they're working with. So I'm going to leave those. I'm going to put those in the bag. So I'm going to leave the centers alone. I did put the black stamen in, but nothing in the center. And then I made this little bag topper. This is Scrap Divas also. These little glasses and bow comes from uh, another set that I have with an add-on. And that's what these glasses are, is an add-on. So I used one of these. No, this is actually from her candy corn memory decks, this little spider. I love it because of the little eyes. <laughs> I just, I think it's like not scary, so... I used it. I am going to paper clip this to the bag so they can reuse the bag, reuse the bag topper. Um, the reason why everything's kind of flat is because she wants 
Brittany wants everything mailed in a large uh, mailer, bubble wrap mailer. So I'm keeping things pretty slim. This is about as thick as it is. This is about, well, probably the width of maybe a little bit more than a rack. But So, okay, so we're going to put this in this bag. And I'm going to put it in the front. And then on the front of that, I am going to put the sequin mix. This is Scrap Diva's little sequin mix um, die. And what I did was I used a large pumpkin, and I cut the I cut the uh, pumpkin out over the heart, so the heart wouldn't show because the heart doesn't really go with Halloween. So. What I did was I just put it over and die cut it after I glued this piece on. I put the little leaves that go with the pumpkin on here and then I found some black bows that I had and put the bows on. This is the sequin mix. It goes pretty well. It's supposed to match the, you know, it's supposed to match and it's kind of traditional color, sort of, not really because each sequin mix is just a hair different on the back because I, I like to use the cut aparts on the back to, to decorate the back. And uh, sometimes you can't really do it on the front. Let me see what the other one. The other one is a little different also. And that's what I mean by the difference. Sometimes it's just the little difference like this. So, um, so that's what those look like on the back. And am I putting it in the right bag? I don't know. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. So I'm just putting those in the front of the bag. And that's what hers hers has on it. And I kind of used the, pap the paper doing other things. So the other thing I needed to do, that was the sequin makes the memory decks and the bows. And then the other requirement was four bows. And I was going to say, I think I lost one. Uh, this is just a little witch's broom one that I had. Um, I did glitter it up with Winkastella gold just to give it some extra oomph. Um, this is the little tiny uh, dripping bow. I I did uh, I did it once in red on something, but it doesn't really look right. The red dripping the blood, which unless you have the right colors it just doesn't look right so I used the black glitter foam and I did just a traditional orange and black this is a bow I'm not sure where I got it from but it's a little bat bow and I just what I did was I added a double bow the little double split bow the webbing and then I cut this little skull out of the webbing and I just used a regular bow on top just to, and I layered it. Well, you have to layer this or it wouldn't sit flat, but, um, but it's very dimensional. And then, uh, I made this one. I'm, this is a full leather in here. And the only thing that works well with it is this hollow paper. So I just, use the hollow and the full leather and I'm going to pack it up in this. I made a traveling traveler's journal and I used a uh, photo book and I had to rip up, rip out all these pages. And so I need something to do with them. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bag. because I'm going to put some other stuff in it also. So I'm going to put this on the top this will be on the bottom and uh i think i'm be able i think this is if i'm remembering this is how i did the other ones too and then i just put this in just a little space in between the bows if i can keep them together which is kind of hard when you don't have enough hands. All right, here we go. And then I'm just going to push all these bows to the back. Oh, 
There we go. Perfect. Just perfect, I show you. And then I'm going to fold it over, but before I seal it up, that's what this washi tape is for. I did make, I made a bunch of these last Halloween, and I was going to mail out some cards, but then we came down with COVID, my husband and I, and I did not feel like doing anything for, I don't know, two or three weeks. It was the very first time I got COVID, but I did get really sick with a fever, and I just didn't want to do anything after that. And then, so I didn't. So I'm going to stick this in here. I'm giving them each one. And then I made this. This is also from Panelisa, I believe. This bow is Scrap Diva, and I, I just wanted to use it because I really like it. And this is, I just put it on the bow, this, this bow behind it. So I'm just, I cut it out. This is foam board and this is foam. And I just figured they could just use it for whatever they want. So it's just a little extra embellishment. They can stick it on something. Um, so I'm going to pack that in. the bag all right and then the last thing was cards i did these are extra um i think one of the one of the things you could do was a set of four four cards but if i was to make i mean i did make end up making six but i would have had to make 12 and i wasn't really interested in making 12 cards so i just uh, dug out this is a jade at blossoms die and i just got these are also uh, leftover from last halloween i colored these for cards and didn't use them and i came across them when i was digging in my halloween stuff so i decided to make the cards um so i just popped some of this up on foam and i did these little this little flowers these little flowers are from Michelle's little uh, punch she just gave me. <laughs> I want to thank you so much. So much, so much. I really like that. It just, I put little diamond dots in the center. I put a little diamond dot on the little kitty cat. And uh, these I colored last year. But like I said, I, I didn't end up making cards. So, uh, I came across them and I decided to use them to make cards for this swap. And so these are just extras. I made two each. So I'm going to put those in the back. And then that would be basically the swap. It just seemed like there wasn't enough. So I, I that's why I added more. I am adding stickers. I have these two sticker sheets. I am going to uh, put a sticker sheet in for each of the each of my swap partners. And I figure uh, Brittany will probably get a lot of things that she doesn't need extra sticker sheets. So I'm just gonna tie these up. What time am I gonna tie those up with? Oh yeah. I have. These left over from this left over from uh, not Christmas Easter I think last year I think I used this for a uh, swap that I used for um, Brittany Pocheck so I'm gonna tie each bag up with this and use the tag I think the tags go fairly decent with uh, with the bag so that's my plan and uh, I'll do that off camera anyways. Thank you so much for coming by to see what I did and um I this is due the 28th and it's almost the 28th so I'm getting it out on time yay <laughs> so I'm not sure if any I didn't see any um Christmases in July swaps which I was really surprised I don't I didn't see any other uh Halloween ones I mean I personally didn't it doesn't mean that they weren't out there uh, that, that the next swap I have to work on is Bethany's mini swap and I can't wait to do it I have so many plans but that's not due until the first week of July so I still have time to work on that and this was due first so anyways thank you so much for coming by 
and may God bless your day. Bye.